All right, wanted to give you a quick video update. This is the part that I finished. And as you can see, we have some metal parts integrated into it so that this can sit on the, the motor itself, engage the keyway that we've got there, just like so. And then I'll have two screws on either side, or one screw on either side. One to engage the keyway that's already in the shaft, giggity. And then the other one is to just hug it. And then this will fit snugly, a little bit more than snugly, <laughs> right over there. And give us a pretty solid connection point for the motor after it's inside of its mount, which is printing now. So the adjustments will already be the bolt holes that I needed to make earlier. And that's what's pushing it. That's going to be big. <laughs> it's going to put out some torque, man. I'm telling you. That's going to put out some torque. Um, but if that nylon gear fails on the inside of um, this entire assembly. Just, let me walk this out of here. Anyway, I'll just I'll try and show you, but... I made everything to where it's pretty snug. <laughs> Come on, get out. Hold on one second. Need two hands. <laughs> Perfect, okay. There it is, set it up there on the motor. Whew, okay, that's, that nylon gear in there is the one that we're worried about. And it's just because that takes the brunt of the force. But it's spinning really smooth with that interval on, so I'm... I know it's going to last longer than that PETG gear did. So, yeah. 9,000 some odd RPMs. 4 to 1 gear ratio. 170 millimeter, 22 blade high pass fan. And we are on our way to... I have no idea. 32,000 RPMs, 55 pounds of thrust. Roughly. We will see. Uh, I'm going to be checking everything with the amp meter as we go. And I'll keep you updated. As soon as the mount's done, we'll probably have a test done after I get the ductwork done. I'm not pushing it. I'm not going to mount this to the slider by itself without the ductwork. It'd be kind of pointless. But we're almost there.